Shiver me timbers. All right, so my uh, oldest version of the Treasure Island film that I've seen, so the oldest adaptation of this novel turned into a film, I guess is what I'm trying to say, that I've seen was the 1972 Treasure Island film. So this is an adventure film and it's based on the Treasure Island uh, book by Robert Louis Stevenson. And this film stars Orson Welles as Long John Silver and also Walter Slezak um, as Squire uh, Trelawney and Rick Battaglia as Captain Smollett. And also we have uh, our main character who is uh, Jim Hawkins portrayed by Kim uh, Burfield. So the film starts off with Jim, a young boy who works at a a tavern with his mother and um, when an old drunken sailor by the name of Billy Bones and Billy Bones is played by Lionel uh, Strand, uh, Stander sorry and he comes in for a drink and event ends up dying so um, I don't know what happened but the drink ends up killing him I guess and Jim gets his hand on a map that belonged to Billy Bones and it actually shows the whereabouts of um, treasure so it's the uh, pirate captain flint's treasure and immediately uh, jim starts to uh, put together a crew to go after this treasure so he take a he takes action excuse me and then he um, requests the help of squire trelawney and also dr uh, levesi and um, they join him on this expedition to find the map and the cook who is um, Long John Silver. He's played by Orson Welles. He is very um, experienced. He's been with Captain Flint before, so he thinks that with uh, brute strength and, um, you know, by killing the other pirates, they can take a hold of this treasure. So word gets around town, and it's not short before they run into some pirates when, when they get marooned on this island. Now, the guys um, or women that have read the book, you know exactly what has happened. I read this book a long time ago. I did a book report on this when I was in grade school, so I remember it. And um, this film seemed to be pretty close with um, what uh, the book uh, portrayed. So the overall uh, movie was, um, it was, it was, it was done fairly well. I liked the locations that they filmed and... Um, also, uh, a lot of the uh, actors did terrific jobs portraying the characters. The only actor that I didn't like was uh, Jim. So the uh, boy that portrayed Jim Hawkins uh, was Kim Burfield. And I think he could have done a little bit better or they could have picked someone else to star as the role. So, um, I don't know. Uh, this film... Would I recommend it to, to people? Yeah, I'd recommend it to people that have read the novel and that want to see it. Uh, it's not a film that uh, I would say really blew me out of the water. I rated this film a 5 out of 10 just because I enjoyed the book. Um, and um, overall, uh, it was an okay film. So I wouldn't give it two thumbs up. But I'd give it a recommendation, and I would recommend people to go out there and watch it. Now, if you guys liked my review and what I had to say about the film, then give me a thumbs up. If you uh, would like to subscribe to my channel to see more daily reviews that I'll be uh, briefing and talking about that I've seen, then hit the subscribe button. Thank you again, everybody that keeps watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Goodbye until next time.